Okay, so let's have a look at this first mini solo that comes in right after the first chorus, uh, mem in the memory remains. So this is in E flat, standard tuning. Just the E flat. Just reload album, by the way, um, if you don't know. <laughs> uh, right, so we're gonna do a bend on 14th fret, release, and then play 12th E, 14th D. Then we have this, so a bit slower. Okay, uh, so a lot of bending going on. Uh, so when you bend, you, you might know it already, but when you bend those uh, double stops on G and B, uh, hold the whole fret with your ring finger across, okay? And then use your other two fingers to help you with the bend. So all three fingers make things stronger, easier <laughs> to bend, right? Right. Uh, yeah, so the first, so the bender in the third bar it's like a full step bend, or just like a full step on the, on the key and half step on the B, but you don't really think, you go by sound, right? So it's like... And uh, then in the fourth bar, the first bend is actually on 12 frets, so you, but you don't have to bend that much, so... A slight bend on 12th fret with your uh, index finger, and then that same bend again on the 14th fret. It's a short one, and then you abruptly stop it, you uh, palm the strings with your right hand. Kind of like that. And then final bar in first line. Is this, so bend, 14th fret again, and bend release, and um, then you play 12, 14. Then 12, and 14, bend. And the abrupt stop right to that. So then second line, same thing but different ending there. Okay, and then the second bar. We have this. So uh, bend 40 on G, and then 12 and 12 on B and E. With a downstroke, sweeping downstroke. And when you hit those notes, uh, I usually roll my finger a bit like that, so I don't. Once I hit the B, when, when I am about to hit the E string, I lift the finger a little bit, so I basically mute that note on the B string and only uh, have the E string sounding, okay? When I strike it. Otherwise, the notes will merge. I mean, yeah, some people like that, so people play like that, it's okay, I... Uh, but for this lick, I think it's better to make the notes sound uh, separate. Yeah, so then after that, yeah, we have this 15th fret bend, full step bend on 15 B, and then we have... So, 12 on E, pull off 15, 12 on B, and then bend full step on 14 on G, and then release and pull off the 12. Like this, so. Right? Bend, release, pull off. And then 14 on D. And then the ending. We have this. So basically, hold your finger on 12th fret and play D and B strings. And then a shuck, and then 12 and fret again twice, and then shuck, 
and then you repeat that thing one more time and then 12 12 and then 15 15 on B and E this time and then slide down okay so slower And, uh, and by the way, that part is actually played by another guitar, I, mean, I don't know if it's Hetfield or not, but so one guitar basically holds the 14th fret there, and another guitar goes, comes in and plays. Uh, I chose to combine it, but you don't have to if you don't want, um, just so you know. Um, okay. Then the second mini solo uh, in the bridge is basically the famous melody. And then you repeat the whole thing, right? Uh, so should be straightforward, let's not dwell on that too much. <laughs> and on the recording, it's actually, I don't think it's played by guitar, I think it's something else playing that thing. <laughs> but live, Kirk plays this melody, as you probably know, um, on the guitar. Uh, right, and then we come to the main guitar solo, which I have recorded right here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at it. Uh, so that's the first part, basically four times on palm muted 12 fret on G, and then non muted 12 fret on G, four times again, and then that, so nothing too complicated. And then bar 3. I think it's something like that, so basically double stops 12, 14 on G and B. Then you have this bend on the 14th fret, release and pull off the 12. Um, you might want to strike the 12 actually and then pull off, I don't know. Uh, uh, but it has to be done kind of quickly, so. It's kind of hard to hear which note he strikes, which notes he pulls off and links together. So I, I but I think something like that anyway. Okay. Or something like that. <laughs> All right, uh, but that's basically the main idea. Um, then in the fourth bar, you're gonna jump quickly down to the second fret. this so so we have a uh, second fret yeah, hit it once and then hit it one more time but bend and at the end, end of the second beat you're gonna release the bend and pull off to open G right so Okay, and then you're gonna hit the second fret again and bend it for another two beats. Like this, so. And then final bar. Not too complicated. Okay, and then second line. So, uh, I think it's more or less the same as in the first solo, uh, so just gonna play it f uh, slowly through it. Right, so that final part there is a bit different, right? So, But not too complicated. So that's the solo to the memory remains. So far.